Okay, we have here a pretty intimidating looking integral from the MIT integration should be 2024, regular season number 11. We have the integral from zero to one of e to the minus x times the square root of one plus cotangent squared, arc cosine e to the minus x dx. Okay, when I first started looking at this, it seemed pretty impossible. And then I started noticing some things. Like first of all, we have this e to the minus x in common here and here, which makes me think a u substitution might be a possibility. And then also I noticed this one plus cotangent squared right here, which is a lot like one plus tangent squared. And that makes me think we could use a trig identity inside the radical that could give us a lot of simplification right there. But actually what I wanna think about first is this u substitution, because we could just do this. The derivative of e to minus x is gonna be minus e minus x. So this is clearly gonna help us. But then I was thinking this here is actually still kind of a mess even after that u substitution. So we're probably gonna need more simplification. So what if I just extended my u substitution and made it this whole piece right here? So let's see how this goes. We'll do our u substitution for arc cosine e minus x, but let's just rearrange this, taking cosine on both sides. We can write this as, I can have cosine u equal to e to the minus x. And then let's just take a derivative here. So this is gonna give me minus sine u du, and here the derivative is gonna be minus e minus x dx. But now I have, for this e minus x dx, I have this right here and here. I can actually just multiply by minus one here on both sides to just get rid of these minus signs. And so now we can say that this e minus x dx is gonna be exactly sine u du. And so I think we have everything we need to make a substitution. So starting off, we'll have our one, we'll plug one in here. This is gonna be arc cosine of e to the minus one. I don't know what that is, so I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it in this form, but I'm gonna write the e to the minus one as one over e. Then plugging in zero here, e to the zero is one. So we're gonna have arc cosine of one, that happens at zero. Next, let's just focus on this radical part. So this is gonna become square root one plus cotangent squared, and this is gonna be just u. And then remember, I'm bringing this e minus x to be with this dx. So e minus x dx, that's gonna be equal to this. This is just gonna be sine u du. But then now let's just get some simplification, all this. What I can do is I can rewrite this sine u, I can write it as sine squared inside of a radical. And so then I can combine these two radicals just multiplying in this sine squared. So when I do this, multiplying sine squared u times one is just gonna give me sine squared u. Now multiplying sine squared u times cotangent squared u, just remember cotangent is gonna be cosine u over sine u, but this is all squared. So what's gonna happen is the sine squared and the denominator is gonna cancel out and we're just gonna be left with cosine squared u right here. But sine squared plus cosine squared, this is all one inside the radical. So this all goes away and this whole integral just reduces to one. So now we'll just go ahead integrating one. This is just gonna give me u and we just need to evaluate this from zero to this crazy thing, our cosine one over e. But when we evaluate at zero, we're just gonna get zero. So all I need to do is plug this in. And so for my final solution to this, we just get our cosine one over e. And a quick note on this solution, in the answer key for UNSW, they had an equivalent solution, which is pi over two arc sine one over E. And the reason these are equal is because we have this identity that we can say that arc sine of X or anything plus arc cosine of X is gonna be equal to pi over two. So with this formula, if you just subtract arc sine on both sides, you get arc cosine is gonna be equal to pi over two minus arc sine of X. And as you can see, this here is in the same format as what we have going on down here. We just have one over E instead of X. There you have it. Thought it was a fun problem. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.